So 2 1 for Petraeus. Why, why does Red drone too hard every time, man? This guy never learns. What do you mean? Did, somebody made no, a I... song about him, man. Like, he's, he's just try beating the song over here, and he's giving us a good series. He's going to even things up on Coda, and then we're going to have a decider game with lots of roaches, calling it. Yeah, he's going to overdrone in the last game and die to Bane right. and Zergling only in the game, and Snoot is going to laugh. No, 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 he yeah. didn't overdrone. It was just, uh, you know, Petraeus was baiting Red's four links out of position, so when he morphed those four links into Bane's, it was too late. Okay. So, you know, having four links defensively is actually pretty good. Uh, I think Red was playing pretty safe, but when the links are out of position, it's not very safe anymore. I'm glad we have Snoot here to say that Petraeus made a smart play, and it's not just Todd being like, Where's this guy over June with the peak? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. That's impressive. <laughs> uh -huh. bag. Uh, somebody oh. said, Roddy, you look more tired than a forced hype thread on SC2 Reddit. <laughs> I think that's quite <laughs> funny, because we've all seen those horrible threads. <laughs> well, what, what have you said that was smart, Ben, in this series? Um, I avoided saying anything, just so you would not rip on me, you big ripper. Kappa. Oh, pool nine, nine. Pool. or is that ten pool? No, no, it's nine. Nine. That was nine. Snoot, break it down for us. What? It's yeah. a nine pool. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen, man? Red is gonna hatch first, and he's gonna die. Okay, I'm, I'm taking your job. Um, Okay, uh, is there any situation, Snoot, in which a nine pool, like I know, fifteen pool is generally the counter to nine pool. But is there any situation in which a 9 pool defeats a 15 pool? Uh, yeah, if the 15 pool player makes some sort of mistake, then yeah. It's, a, it's only based on mistakes? Yeah, okay, like micro mistakes, like... pretty much. Hatch is now, so pretty. God. So Red's going for 15 hatch. Is there anything that he has to do from this point on? Yes. Good Mike. Make a pool? Make <laughs> don't make another drone. The drone that he made like, right now... Ah, he oh made my another god, Red. Yeah, it's... I, it's I, I, like, it can be okay if he drops a 16 spawning pool. Like, if you took a gas now, it would be uh, bad news, but uh, it also depends on what Petraeus is going to do with his 9 poolings. Like, he can either start attacking the natural hatchery, or he can go straight into Red's main. And those two scenarios play out a little bit differently. Okay. Shout out uh, to Camping Lift, who has just subscribed. Guys, we got sub hype. I don't I know why I don't this. Fucking Kev is like interrupting every discussion. <laughs> Guys, we just got so, subscribers. Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> Petraeus, he's not doing this super all in because he's going for a hatch now. Is yep. that good for him or bad for him against the hatch? Like, is he doing this because he didn't know it was a 15 pool yet? Or, I mean, 15 hatch yet? No, I think he just did it by default. Okay, okay. Uh, you kind of, like, either you commit to only minerals and then you expand, or you just go for the gas. If he went for the gas, I think he uh, would cancel Red's natural. But instead, he's trying this... to get a lot of mining time. This is good for oh. Treyas, though, eh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So much damage. Yeah. Red's it doesn't trouble. look like uh, a good map to defend against on, because there's no like mineral nook where you can just hide all your drones in. Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. See, Todd, Very thank good. you! I mean, Red is doing a good job trying to keep as many of them alive as possible. Uh, I think he fought a little bit too early. I think he needed two more Zerglings there. Yeah, Red's lost oh. six drones. Seven drones, eight drones. <clears throat> Shit. Nine drones? Uh, oh. Hashtag oh. Gotcha Micro. <laughs> I mean, that could have been worse. To be honest, I think Red did very well there. Like, I would have fucked it up so badly. He's doing the uh, right thing too by just droning up now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, they're gonna the be like even on workers. Take yeah. a look at the queens. I mean, okay, well, Petraeus, Petraeus still has a small lead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Petraeus has mined 150 more minerals, and uh, he's also ahead in the units lost counts. So, how do you know that? How do you know I he got, I got a really sick observer interface. I got all the numbers what? here, man. Seriously, you got an observer interface that shows how much money has been mined? Yeah, throughout the entire game. Wow, I've been requesting this for years, like no joke, so, I've actually requested this so long ago, but they've ignored my request, that's really smart. Yeah, but every time people, uh, you know, every time someone see an interface like this, everyone's like, oh, there's too much information, there's too much on the screen, it's not clean enough, but I'm like, yeah, this is awesome, man, Petraeus is 150 yeah. minerals ahead of uh, Rat in income. <coughs> no, I actually think it matters so much, that, that is one statistic that I always felt has been missing, and I've been putting it on it. I've been requesting uh, a long time. How many now. minerals is he ahead now? No, it's <laughs> roughly 150. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's without <laughs> counting the units lost, so he's double ahead. He's probably like 450 up in total. 
Man, that's Three, sick. 330. Yeah. Petraeus predicted 3 1 for him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Red said 3 2. Do you guys realize that the guys who like predict a small victory for themselves are often the ones who end up losing, and the guys who predict a bigger victory for themselves end up winning? So I expect both Snoot and Marino to predict that they will 3 0 their opponent. And anything else will be a no, huge disappointment. Snoot is too manner to. Yo, see. what did we do last time? Because we played in the show match last time as well, and we, I think we made some predictions back then. Yes. Um, I don't remember what you're saying. I don't remember. <laughs> but I think you like you both. Oh my god! I, I even though there was like voice so elegant, dude. There was a little bit of like an attempt at BM, like by Marine Lord especially. Like you guys were like very mannered. You are like, yeah, he's really good and stuff. So this oh, time you need to correct that shit and go full <laughs> <a> BM. <laughs> it was a lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you went so much. <laughs> Hey, I'm still sad that that one map that you guys played on, you know, like the kind of moon lunar eclipse map, oh, didn't yeah. make it into the map pool. That map seemed really cool, man, and it was yeah. awesome. Like, I would have loved to play StarCraft on that map. Why, why have Ganymede when we can have Inferno pools? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I feel like we just need some more games on Inferno pools to truly see whether or not it's a good <laughs> map. <laughs> Camperino. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we got five people on Skype and nobody has anything useful to say about this DVZ. Well, uh, I could talk about the game, but I'm not sure if it's very interesting. Yeah, it is. Everybody Petraeus. loves to listen to you. Petraeus is really far ahead in upgrades, like he has the lair. Rhett doesn't have a lair, so Petraeus has lair and plus one. He's, gonna he's making speed. mess links. He's gonna go all in. Yeah. Nah, no, this or is maybe just at least so a cancel. light pressure. Light pressure. No, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the funny thing is that Petraeus made a lot of links at the same time as well. In the end, I think Red should win this with reinforcements, obviously. Uh, maybe, That's maybe. Yeah. Red fought, fought way too early, what the fuck? Yeah. He had so many uh, links on the way and no speed. He just finished speed now after he lost like all of his links. Speed link is OP. God damn it. And now Red keeps making links, whereas Petraeus can actually start making roaches right now, so... Red's in a lot of trouble. And has plus, plus one, one on the way it's, already. Yeah, it's it's more than on the way. It's like half complete. So the roaches are gonna pop. Red's gonna attack and then trouble. Yeah, oh I think no. it's just gonna go all in. Maybe. Yeah, looking really dire for Red. Can Red do it, Snoot? I don't think anyone can win from this point. Wow, that was a that was a very <laughs> nice way of putting it. Uh, like, this position is so, so rough. And he's making more drones. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Maybe, maybe I mean, if Red... You gotta stay true to what of, you do, right? If Fred gets some sort of amazing counterattack in, when Petraeus is moving out with the roaches, yeah. may maybe. He starts his road trying too. Now, like... <laughs> now that there's so many roaches out for Petraeus. A little bit late, bro. Petraeus has truly been... Petraeus has truly really been one of the players that has improved the most, I feel, like in the foreign scene you know, over the last, yeah, yeah. let's say, six months or something. He really took the step from just being like a good player to a force to be reckoned with. But <laughs> didn't he struggle in WCS? <laughs> like, yeah, la yeah, last yeah. season he didn't qualify, in this season like, no, he also had, had a little bit of a hard time. Bro, yeah, he yeah, beat me. He got in in the last <laughs> chance qualifiers. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, like he, he got a free win against Roti round one and then he lost to Especially whoever in Matter and uh, also in online tournaments, like it's, it's really scary nowadays. That's a nice surround, I don't think it's gonna matter, but it's a good yeah. surround. Plus one is so sick. There's four links, man. Well, that's unfortunate for Red. But Tutrae's played very well. So, a little bit of build order right. luck as well, I guess, in the end. Like the one game that yeah, Red went for the early map. pool, Petraeus went pool first. And then the one time that Petraeus went for the early pool, Red went hatch first. So. You know, yeah, sometimes you run good and sometimes yeah. you run bad. Hype! Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most.